Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to welcome you to next Industry 5.0 keynote speech. This time we will speak about global development. My name is Mike Rada. I am human and I am the founder of Industry 5.0. Before we start, let us talk a little bit about the background. On August 21st, 2020, I delivered the very first Industry 5.0 keynote speech in India. The speech has unbelievable resonance with more than 1.5 million views of my post related to the speech in just one month's time. Because of that, on October 14, 2020, started the first Industry 5.0 ambassador, his journey in India. His name was Shiv Rao Chala, and he represents Industry 5.0 together with his company 3R Zero Waste. Till the end of 2020, we have organized together several workshops for the large Indian companies. On January 7, 2021, the European Commission officially included Industry 5.0 in the European Sustainable Development Framework. And on October 14, the growth of the Industry 5.0 Ambassador Network began. On July 31st, Industry 5.0 ambassadors covers countries with more than 60% of the global human population. So how does, how does the development look like? In one year, we have be, we has been able to grow from one to 64 countries already. What is the situation? What is the reality? I was born in 1971 when the planet was called blue, but in 2019 it reminded more on gray ball of mud. But with 2020, COVID showed us that the sky can be blue again, and this is why we started to build up the network. Because we are living on a planet around which we have been able in just few decades to put 170 million pieces of space debris. We are living on a planet on which we dig inside hunting for more, no matter what. Just more is important. We are living here together with 7.7 .7 billion people not knowing that 200 years ago it was just 1 billion and 100 years ago, it was just 1.5 billion people. And in 2050, the prediction indicates that there should be 11 billion people living on the same planet. And remember the last image, please. We are living here in 206 countries, speaking 7,000 languages, driving 1 billion car and leaving 9 million people dying thirsty dying hungry, despite of the fact that we are throwing away more than 23 million metric tons of crop and food every single day. And we let 800,000 people dying thirsty, despite of spoiling 347 million liters just by the crude oil industry in California. We grow our food to throw it away because the leaves are not green enough. And we fill the waters and the rivers with onions because too much has grown and it can spoil the market price. We are carrying our water in fire trucks, not knowing that the same amount of water is needed to produce just one and simple hamburger. And this picture is on the same planet reality as well. Same as this one, from a factory which has walls filled with environmental certificates and behind the wall there is a landfill. Same as this image from a 
parking lot of a huge automotive factory, which instead of car, park obsolete material, obsolete packaging on their own park lot place, including this image which shows up that product which is not perfect for one can be perfect for hundreds and thousands of others. The World Bank predicts that the amount of waste will grow till 2050. In some destination, it should double. It says at the same time that almost all the material can be reused or recycled, but only 13.5% is being recycled or reused. The waste industry is the third most profitable industry in the world, turning the planet into global landfill. The Industry 5.0 origin came from the evolution because Industry 5.0 is not the revolution but the very first industrial evolution led by man. It's based on the systematic waste prevention methodology called industrial upcycling and it was launched officially on December 1st 2015 recognizing four types of waste physical social urban and process waste and already two years before the introduction of industry 5.0 with the article from virtual to physical the principles has been implemented and in a real business environment. And more than 1 million metric tons of products did not become waste thanks to this methodology. On May 2021, 20, Industry 5.0 message was sent to all governments all around the globe. And how does Industry 5.0 expand or why does it? It represents the possibility to reduce significantly at the same time the cost and negative environmental impact of operations. Globally, it can be saved 475 trillion US dollars by systematic waste prevention. And more than 1 million metric tons of products already has been saved. 120,000 people has been inform about this just by the work and workshop by the 3R Zero Waste Company in India. And Industry 5.0 was named in 2020 one of the top 10 industrial trends of upcoming decade. Jaguar Land Rover, Tata Steel, BHEL, Shell, Aramco, Skoda. There is a long list of companies who already speak about Industry 5.0. And there because there is only one question. Do you want to generate waste or profit? What is the ground stone? When I started, the future was built on the top of a pyramid, 3R pyramid. Reduce, reuse, recycle. But this pyramid does not work. And this is why we are turning our planet into a landfill. Even the old Greece or the old Egyptians has not been able to build up the future on the top of a pyramid. This is why I have spent my time and introduced another ground stone, more stable one. Firstly, we have to recognize that something must not become waste. Then we reconsider what to do with that and finally we realize how does it work we have to re recognize that something must not become waste and trust me this is not easy if you did created the waste before then you have to recognize or reconsider after the recognition what to do with it and finally, you realize this step I love most because it delivered the results which you can touch. What are the growth conditions of Industry 5.0? One of them is the climate emergency, which results in earlier Industry 5.0 adoption. 
the United States already, the United Nations already reflecting on this development. And the national governments will start with the implementation of Industry 5.0 principles very soon. Companies and corporations did this already and benefits from the results. And universities start to launch Industry 5.0 in the education plan. The waste and wasting prevention legislation will be introduced this year and you are the very first one in the world, except of the Industry 5.0 ambassadors, who will learn how this legislation change will look like. Because the wasteless legal framework has to be introduced not only in a waste category of the law, but in the general law and legislation. So what is the waste prevention policy? Nothing that can be used or utilized again should become waste. Everything should be considered as a primary as pre-waste existing resource part of the underground mines and they remain in the system. The secondary use or utilization is not limited by the primary function of the product or material and can be executed by everyone respecting the regulations and safety conditions. Collecting, sorting, bailing, transportation and trade are not being considered secondary utilization. If not utilized on site or on the original location, it must be offered to others before being wasted. And there is no waste if we do not waste. And we do it because of the process called wasting, which has to be, needs to be specified as well. Wasting is the process in which a product or material of any kind and volume become waste. And please see the waste legislation definition in your law. Wasting is a system failure and should be prevented first without any limitation or legal restriction. Wasting is not feature of a product or material but the result of human behavior and single use represents one of the most common form of wasting. The ladies and gentlemen, this legislation should be included and must be included and in every single country legislation. This is why the, me and the ambassadors work on the translation and here you see the version for your country, for Hindi. What will come next? We have to change. The businesses should start to unify. Instead of competition, cooperation must come. We have to become integral keeping together following one non-financial aim which is to build wasteless world but at the same time we have to strengthen our sovereignty because firstly we have to cover the needs of local people to build on their power and help on the global scale we have to be transparent because the transparency is the best prevention against data fraud and data leaks. And we have to be responsible, not just on a financial to repay the evil, but overall and our responsibility should be addressed. And it's instead of single use and longevity, should be supported and the efficiency applied within the entire supply chain and life cycle.
has to be included. Because meaningfulness of work will help and contribute to meaningful life of people all around the globe. There has been many keynotes delivered after the first one in India last year. There has been many already delivered since the beginning of 2020. And it is important to realize and recognize that Industry 5.0 is the first industrial evolution ever led by man, by human. It is new mindset of people and businesses from wasteful to wasteless. It delivered the results without the need of capital investment and it's based on the principles of systematic waste prevention, industrial upcycling. It utilized the existing on the ground mines and it's based on transparency, profit sharing and efficiency. And please do understand, Industry 5.0 is not a sales tool or a buzzword, but a real change. Dear ladies and gentlemen, we are living in the age of digitalization of our work. We are living for a second year in digitalization of our education and our leisure was digitalized a long time ago, which looks like that only one thing needs to be digitalized. And this is the man himself. <clears throat> but if we do so, our world will look like this. Because data don't need any light. I recognize this danger decade ago and I started to build a new world and my home looks like this and it is only your decision if you would like to live in the same home or on a blue on a gray ball of mud. You ladies and gentlemen my name is Mike Rada. I am a human and don't worry, I'm not the only one who can help you to step in and build the wasteless world. There are 64 ambassadors at the moment who can support you, including Shifra Chala and 3R Zero Waste Company. If you do not know how to, ask him or ask me or ask any of the network. It is your decision which heritage will you and your company leave behind. Dear ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank you for the most valuable assets which you gave to me. It was your time. And I wish you have a nice time free of waste and wasting in all its forms. And please stay safe.